Meet Ethereum, a superhero known for solving problems in Block City. However, Block City is getting bigger as more people are choosing to build and live there, and Ethereum is no longer as efficient. So, enter Polygon, Ethereum's sidekick here to help him do the heavy lifting. Now, while Polygon doesn't wear a cape like your typical superhero sidekick, it has proven to be a much needed solution to Ethereum's scaling problems. So sit back as we break down Polygon from its technology, ecosystem, and protocols to some cool partnerships that you'd want to know about. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start by roughly defining Polygon and what it tries to achieve. So Polygon launched as a scaling solution that ran alongside the Ethereum blockchain. Their flagship product, the Polygon POS sidechain, is used to scale transactions on the Ethereum network. So think of Ethereum as a crowded highway and Polygon as an underground tunnel that helps Ethereum's traffic move faster by allowing some cars to pass through it. So basically, Polygon handles Ethereum's transactions on a separate Ethereum-compatible blockchain and returns transactions to the main Ethereum blockchain post-processing. Now, this approach lowers the network load on Ethereum significantly. And in doing so, Polygon can speed up transactions and also lower transaction costs. So for some context on Ethereum's scalability issues, its gas fees have shut up to over $190. They average roughly $40. Now, this is usually driven by the relatively limited number of transactions that can be facilitated using a single block. Miners in such a scenario choose the highest price transactions as their priority. So the result is an increase in effective gas prices. Now, in direct response to Ethereum's problems, Polygon provides an easy framework for new and existing blockchain projects to build on Ethereum without scalability issues. Now, it is important to note that Polygon has grown into a more complex platform that allows developers to build and launch fully interpolable blockchains. In fact, presently, one of the goals of Polygon is to make Ethereum an internet of blockchains similar to ecosystems like Cosmos and Polkadot. All right, so then let's get a little bit more technical and find out how Polygon generally works. So let's go back to our highway analogy where we mentioned that Polygon decongests Ethereum by providing an underground passage for cars. But this is not the only solution, right? We could also build overhead roads, for example. Now, similarly, Polygon uses a variety of L2 solutions to create a speedy parallel blockchain and link it to the main blockchain. Some of these solutions include the Plasma Chain, which provides a framework for building dApps off-chain, benefiting from Ethereum's secure infrastructure and zero-knowledge rollups based on zero-knowledge proof, meaning that it executes the transactions off-chain, only submitting the proof of validity to the main Ethereum chain. Now, it is named rollups as it basically rolls up transactions into batches that are executed off-chain. By the way, you can click right here to watch our video on zero-knowledge proof. Now, there are other scaling solutions and more are continuing to be developed as Polygon is trying to prepare Ethereum for mass adoption by boosting its transaction throughput, all without sacrificing the network security and user experience. Okay, so then let's zoom in a little bit further and focus on Polygon's main side chain, their proof of stake chain that runs parallel to Ethereum. Now, the chain has its own set of validators who do the heavy lifting by staking their MATIC tokens and verifying transactions to secure the network in exchange for receiving a cut of fees, which is also in the form of MATIC. 
Delegators can also stake their Matic indirectly via a trusted validator to get a share of the rewards. This chain is also Ethereum virtual machine compatible, allowing Ethereum-based dApps to migrate their smart contracts to the Polygon network. Now this also allows the transactions to happen on Polygon sidechain, where users will be paying fees in Matic, which will be a fraction of what they would have paid on the main chain. Polygon would then need to update Ethereum on what happened off-chain by posting the transaction data back to the main chain. All right, so let's look at some of the biggest DeFi projects already on the network. So Polygon has seen widespread adoption from users and developers alike. According to DeFi Llama, it hosts around 268 protocols, totaling a TVL of over 1.7 billion. Some of these protocols include Aave, one of the most popular lending platforms, and decentralized exchanges like QuickSwap, which use the scaling solution to offer users faster and cheaper trading. While the most popular projects on Polygon are the traditional dApps, Polygon provides scaling solutions to other spaces like blockchain gaming by helping developers and gamers build and play games more effectively. Top gaming and NFT dApps like Avegachi and Sandbox have scaled their user experiences with Polygon. Its timing in the gaming industry is perfect as the fast growing NFT industry has been integrated into blockchain gaming. Basically, gamers can buy, sell, and trade different types of in-game assets as NFTs. Now, Polygon has not only been excelling from a technology point of view, but also from a business point of view. One of the biggest Polygon partnerships is with Disney. The media and entertainment company chose the scaling solution as one of six companies to be a part of its program to develop AR, NFT, and AI experiences. Now, Polygon has also partnered with social media giants Reddit and Meta. The latter was announced in May when Meta was testing a new feature on Instagram that allows creators to share NFTs on their feed by directly connecting their account to a Web3 wallet. Shortly after, Reddit announced a partnership with Polygon for their new NFT avatar marketplace that allows users to purchase NFT PFPs. Now this feature does not need a crypto wallet. Instead, users can purchase the NFTs via credit or debit cards. The NFTs are minted on Polygon and can be stored on Reddit's own crypto wallet, Vault. Okay, so then what does the future look like for Polygon? Well, this is a question that has been asked a lot in light of Ethereum's upgrade. So one of the co-founders of Polygon, Sandeep Nailwal, addresses these comments in an interview with Cointelegraph, stating that he believes Ethereum's switch to a proof-of-stake network will not change much in the way of transactions per second. Sandeep notes that the Ethereum upgrade might succeed in increasing throughput, which will still be low, and that wouldn't change that much, even when sharding finally happens in three to five years. As more Ethereum native DeFi protocols are starting to migrate to Polygon, plus the network's committed goal of developing additional scaling infrastructure, the extent to which Polygon can help scale the Ethereum network remains to be seen. Now, all in all, as a project, it is definitely one of the most interesting ones to watch in the future. So. What do you think? Is Polygon one of the projects on your watch list? Well, let us know in the comments. And of course, also remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.